What's up, Internet? It's Joshua from Top Form Fitness, and once again, it's time to do it with you. Welcome back to another episode in my Road to Rip series where I'm preparing for my first men's physique competition. In this video, I wanted to talk about high intensity interval training and training your core, getting that six pack to pop. But before I get into that, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about refeed days. Yesterday was my last refeed day leading up to the competition. Now basically, my caloric deficit is now down to around 2,000 calories a day. So I brought it down a little bit and uh, to meet my protein requirements, that has also made it necessary for me to bring my carbohydrate intake down. If you're at a calorie deficit and pretty low carb intake for a prolonged period of time, I do believe it's smart to plan in a refeed or a carb loading day every couple of weeks at least. Yesterday I brought my carb intake up over 400 grams and my total calorie intake was over 3,000 calories for the day. So that's quite a bit more than what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, and I wanted to also see how my body reacted to that higher carb intake because at uh, the end of peak week I also am going to be playing with my carb intake a little bit there as well. And I need to know how my body responds to ramping up carbs prior to the competition. So this gives me a chance to check it out. If you're thinking of doing photo shoot or a physique comp, I do recommend that you play around with those carb refeeds leading up to the competition so you do know how your body responds, when you look best after a carb refeed, and how much carbohydrates is appropriate to take in. So here's where I'm at the day after a refeed. So I still have some abs. I thought it'd be all soft because there's a lot of carbs relative to what I've been doing but definitely fuller. I do feel like uh, my arms and shoulders filled out a little softer through here the next day. I see a little water retention here and there, but overall I feel like things definitely filled out. Now I do have to get leaner obviously leading the competition. Uh, based on yesterday, it gives me an idea of what I want to do uh, like the day before the contest as well. So we're going to get into the core workout now, and I'm going to show you what I do for my high intensity interval training, and I'll catch up with you after the workout. Now the three main exercises I'm using for my HIIT training right now are the ones that are in my 3D abs program, including high knees, which you see here, mountain climbers, and burpees. These are all challenging exercises and really they're as hard as you make them. So the faster you go and the harder you work at it, the harder these exercises will be. But I do like to mix it up with my high intensity interval training as well. I choose some exercises that I'm not as comfortable with because you do get used to some movements and no matter how effective they are, once you're really comfortable with it and you're very efficient at it, it may not get your heart rate up as quickly as when you first introduce the exercise. Now the only three core exercises I'm using right now are the same three exercises in my 3D abs program uh, and I'll post a link to that down below. I highly suggest you check that out. Uh, they're the ab wheel rollouts and the power wheel pikes and hanging leg raise variations. Now you can also use a stability ball for the, the pikes or knee tucks if you don't have access to a, uh, a power wheel. Well, these three core exercises in my opinion are all you're really going to ever need as far as training for aesthetics uh, for your core, for your midsection. They're the only ones I'm using right now in, in different sort of program variations and layouts using drop sets and circuit training to really develop the abdominals. In addition to the 3D abs program I'm using for my hit and my core training, I'm also incorporating some posing. Every time I do my, my hit, I incorporate uh, a little bit of my posing practice as well. And that in itself is a good core workout as well. So a lot harder than you think trying to hold those positions, maintain tension through your core, you know, flex but look relaxed. I'm also practicing uh, vacuums, so uh, abdominal drawings. And I find this really helps me to be able to 
hold my stomach in while flexing uh, and breathing as well. Like practicing the vacuum leading up to a competition will help you with that abdominal control and helps you make your waist appear smaller. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like. Post any questions or comments you have down below in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe and until next time, stay strong.